everyone, on the channel I'm always trying to give you guides and tutorials for everything on Assetto Corsa and there's lots more on the channel, 370 videos plus, but one video I've never done is Android Auto. Now Android Auto is a big part of Custom Shader Patch, CSP, especially the higher version, so I thought what better time to take a look at it and just to show you how it works. I do get asked questions about Android Auto and I don't really use it too much myself in games, so this has been a good learning exercise for me too, so let's jump into the video. And to do that, we've been driving around in this Mercedes. Now, this is a brand new Mercedes from MNBA. This is the Mercedes-Benz SL65 AMG Black Edition. This is 2009. So this is 662 brake horsepower, 1,000 newton meters. Wow, this has got some torque. 200 miles an hour and 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. Lots of different things that you can see in the car here, including the Android Auto. But I'm going to show you something slightly different on this car. You can see that the CS P buttons also open the doors and the spoiler goes up as well so this has got loads of extras in it it's just been released a few days ago the link will be in the description so here we are then in the Mercedes we've pulled up on the road and I'm just still in the standard drive menu now if I move my mouse around I can actually click on this screen I can't see it very well but I can click on the screen if I press my right mouse button down and I know I'm just going into the basics here but some people may not know this you can actually move your view around within the car now I can then click on these buttons and this Mercedes has got a couple of different features on it because it's actually got a Mercedes screen on it so this is not exactly Android Auto but I'm just showing you here how CSP can animate all of these screens on different cars it just depends what the modder actually wants to install on the car but obviously you can't be driving the car and moving your mouse pointer around like that you're not going to be very good at driving or racing like that the standard view on different cars is set but you can change it and again I'm going into basics but some people may not know it so if you go into the search bar at the top and you actually put first person camera it will bring up this little app so this app will allow you to tilt and move the camera so you can actually in different cars set your own custom seating position up I have covered this in different videos but it's really useful and it's one of those little apps that some people don't know about so I could drive the car like this even though the view is slightly different and some modders by the way do put Put different in-car views into their car so you can look at Android Auto as you're driving but that is a way that I could actually do this so before we look into more in depth in actual Android Auto let's just go into content manager and have a look in the settings because there's one piece that's really important here so going on to settings custom shader patch and about an update you can see I'm running the latest version of preview the link will be in the description this is the paid for patreon version do realize that Android Auto is not on all versions of CSP only the higher versions versions if you go right down to music though you can see that there's a Spotify app there you want to enable that so if you're playing Spotify on your desktop it will actually come onto the car screen as well as it says here there is no direct way to choose the music in the car with Spotify and if there is I haven't found it so please drop in the comments if you do know about that okay then let's jump into another car this is another MBNA car again both of these mods are free so do check the link in the description this is the Porsche 718 it came in GT4 RS 2022 I covered this a few months ago now this has got the typical Android Auto on here so what I'm going to do is just press F7 in the drive menu and then I can move the camera around the car is still running but I'm just going to show you with different views here how I can click on these buttons so as I move in here I can move my mouse pointer and I can click on this like it is a touch screen so we've got clock and you've got different things along the bottom you've got alarm clock timer there's also stop watch on there you could use that to do your timings I'm not sure it'd be the right thing to do but you could do if you wanted to you can also click on this little icon here and choose a city so this is a fully working Android Auto it's very very cool so that's the clock section there we've also then got gallery where you can click on this and see any of the items you've got in your media gallery pictures that you have taken and here's one here at Laguna Seca of a Porsche then you've got maps and this is very cool so it knows that I'm actually on the track here at Imola and I can zoom out here and you can see it's like a normal GPS map utility I can also put satellite view on there as well and so you can use this especially when you're doing free roams as well because some of those are absolutely huge and you could use this and maybe use an app like comfy map as well messages I'm not sure what that's for but I'm sure that will become apparent in future releases now on here you've got Spotify but you can see it's not direct
directly going into the API yet as Ilya has put in Content Manager. You've also got information on the car. You can see the Porsche here that I've got. And I would imagine with different modders, there's different things going to be on there. This radio one is very cool. If I click on it and click on Radio 4, you can hear Radio 4 in the UK playing now. And the great thing here, you can find your best station. I don't know how many stations it's actually got in there, but you can find your best station, put your music on, and you can use that as a normal radio in the car. You've also got a rear view camera as well. It's not working on this particular car, but I know it works on most cars. You can change backgrounds. You can see I can scroll up and down and choose backgrounds here. That's very cool too. And then the big one, the one that everybody talks about is YouTube. So if I just click on the YouTube icon here, and you can see there's some videos, some latest news videos on there at the moment. You've got the search bar at the top. So this can actually be playing while you're driving the car. And again, I know this has been out for a long time, but some people may not know that you can do this on a set of Corsa. So if I type in here a set of Corsa and probably a set of Corsa free roam because I know I've got a couple of videos on that. Um, and again, please do check the channel out if you're new to a set of Corsa. There's so many hundreds of videos on mods that you can download and install for a set of Corsa. I'm just going to search and I know that top one in here, this is a big video for me um, over this year. I think it's had over, over 100,000 views, but it will load up here and then all of a sudden you are playing and this is that video playing through YouTube in the car as I'm driving around a circuit or free roams. Pretty cool. So let's jump into the normal drive view by pressing F1 and I'm just going to drive around this part of Imola with the video playing on YouTube in the car and I've actually got this video on YouTube it's all a bit weird isn't it that's very very good now that's how you use Android Auto I know there's lots of other little tips out there so do drop in the comments if you use this check out the rest of the channel if you're not subscribed yet why not it's completely free and do check out our partner simrace247.com see you soon guys and thank you for watching